Hi, my name is Adam White, Director of Technical Marketing with Beyond Trust. In this video, we'll take a look at an SSH or Telnet session called a shell jump session through a jump point. Uh, as we've talked about previously, the jump point is a Windows or Linux-based client that you can install on a remote network. It makes an outbound 443 connection back to the Beyond Trust appliance environment. And through that, you're able to create connections via RDP, BNC, SSH or Telnet, web jump, and protocol tunneling. Today we'll look at an SSH or Telnet session. To do that, I'll bring onto my screen the Beyond Trust Privileged Remote Access Access Console. Um, before we take a look at a session, if I go to create here and go down to shell jump, this would show me the dialogue to actually set up one of these connections. And you'll notice here under protocol that we have an option for SSH or Telnet. We can define what jump point the session goes through and some other parameters that may be utilized inside of the session. But I'll click cancel on this and go over to this Linux 01 jump item here where the jump method is shell jump. And if I double click this, it will pull up a dialog allowing me to inject a credential via the credential store. So I click OK. In this case, I don't have to know the credential. I'm not walking around knowing the credential to this device. The credential will be injected and I'll have the ability to um, jump into this session. The credential will be rotated at the end of the session. And so I'm able to go in here. I can work via the command shell on this system. I can transfer files if I need to. So if I need to pull a log file from this remote device, I can do that. And I also have you know, some other functions at my disposal here. I have the ability to share a session uh, or transfer a session so I can collaborate with another technician, for example, uh, a vendor or partner, you know, someone I, I need to bring in to actually help me solve this issue. And I would be able to, again, work inside of this system uh, take advantage of the functionality of the access console. And also there's an audit log of everything that occurs inside of this session. So from a corporate standpoint, um, the administrator would be able to go in and look at what I have done, what commands I've run as a part of this, if I've run any canned scripts, for example. Uh, and again, if I've collaborated with anyone else as a part of this session, and you would have that as an audit log at your disposal. Uh, I hope this has been helpful in describing the function of shell jump and how it might be used in your environment. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to sales at beyondtrust.com. Thanks for your time.